Will be racing in the Kumo TCR World Tour. Round 11 here from Argentina as the entirety of the field. 25 cars accelerate to Norbert Michaelis gets an absolute blinder off of the line. Look at that advantage. Huff and Elishay side by side for the run down into T1. It narrows to 20 metres. 25 cars try and find their way through. One of the Lincoln Coast goes out wide as well. Elishay still second position just behind Rob Huff. Mikel Athcona does not make any movement at the start of this race. He's in fourth position, side by side now, three wide coming into the chicane while the Toyota's to the outside line. Everybody seems to make it through now, but Elishay with the pink highlights on the wing mirror, looks one side, looks the other. Michaelis covers off the line. That opens up an opportunity for Rob Huff around the outside. Rob Huff goes around the outside to great effect. The Lincoln being swarmed by the field behind Michaelis, still just holding on. Rob Huff, can he make it deal done? He faints to the inside line, faints to the outside line again. Covers off Jan Elishe and now Mikel Athcona trying to buy in as well. Huff a little hip and shoulder to the side of Norby. That seems to have slowed up the Hyundai. Athcona to the inside line, almost three wide. But there, just about, Jan Elishe finds his way through. Athcona looks to the inside again. But Rob Huff now is our race leader. Huff across the line from Elishe, from Ascona, from Michaelis, Girolami, Bjork, Java, Yanatuone and Juan Angel Rosso having a fantastic start to move all the way up into ninth position in these early running of round 11 of Kumo TCR World Tour in Argentina. Safety car has been called, we've not seen exactly what's happening on screen but as feared the safety car thought we got through the first few corners. We might be fortunate to avoid any dramas, but there is Matthias Miller coming back into this series. Is that the end of the race for our Uruguayan star, Santiago Arrutier, from the hero of El Pinar last time around, race victory? The first race of the weekend, El Pinar, it looked to me like Santiago Arrutier's Pull that car to a stop and that's it. We are green again here in Argentina for the Kumo TCR World Tour. TCR, South America, Banco, BRB and almost immediately Noma Michaelis looking to make a move. Our teammate Mikel Azcona. Azcona has the inside line. Michaelis has the draft behind the back of Jan Elishay. Can Azcona beat him on the brakes? Very late is the Spanish driver Girolami trying to get involved as well. So Nesta Girolami side by side further up the field with and he gets the deal done. Nesta Girolami moves past Norman Michaelis to take the position away. That's a great move for Girolami up into fourth position. Mikel Afkoda at this moment in time, they kick up some spray as they go through one of the puddles as well. Michaelis is the man that sees everybody in front. He can react to what's happening ahead of him as Girolami leaves the door open. Michaelis walks through the door, thank you very much for the hairpin gets the job done, Girolami on the attack again, side by side, the counter attack for Argentinian driver Nesta Girolami, he has the house side line, can he hold it all the way with Norby, yes he can, to one side, to the other on the brakes, but Girolami has been overtaken. Massive pressure from Mikel Athcona now hard on the brakes, the car squirrelling on the brake. And Athcona though gets it done on the brakes. Great confidence from the Spanish driver, the Hyundai. Easily overtakes Elishe and now Michaelis wants to buy into this one as well. Nova trying to find a way past the bike of that bright blue Cyan Lincoln coaching is. It's a case of the tyres beginning to fall away for Jan Elishay, he certainly doesn't have the confidence on the brakes, the confidence on turning of those behind him, and Michaelis launches it down the inside, hard on the brakes, Norby, the Hungarian driver, gets the deal done, best of your alarm behind as well, trying to buy into this one, while Jan Elishay is wrong-footed by the move from Norby, we see Giro Army looking one way, look at the other, he's not giving up this one yet, hard on the brakes, locks the car up, but it gets past, does Nesta Girolami from Jan Elishay loses two places in as many corners. That we're running up to now again, nice and early, more about a distraction tactic at this moment in time, they're trying to put the car alongside of Kona, wants him to be compromised on corner exit, so he can get the drag up to the next section of racetrack, but this one, Rob Huff, in around quite a bit, he knows all of these tricks and more as he continued to cling on to his race lead with five minutes to go, and there is 
Nesta Girola who's on the, on the side of the pro. That's a real shame for Nesta, but now we've got an attack for the race lead. Akona has the inside line, rough up on the log stop, sideways, smoke from the inside tyre as he's breaking hard to try and hold on to that position. Huff just about holds on, Mikel Afkona cannot find a way past, and the race has been neutralised because it's a safety car for the stranded car of Nesta Girolami. flag and the final lap board it'll be a one lap dash to the checker fly can rub off hold on for one final 4.368 kilometer tour will he succumb to the pressure of Mikel Afcona they were seeing Martin Guaf throw the car down the inside Gumieri holding off the attentions of Dan Alice holding off the attentions himself and then I know Rosso as we see one of the Toyotas go squirrely to the outside line who is that one contact with the wall as well for good measure so that's not what Gurrieri needs to be doing at this stage of the race but still Rob Hull at the front of the field Mikel Afcona trying to find a way past Nova Mikulis a safe distance in Arias he has got Marcin Gua for company Mikulis will be desperate to hold on to that podium position and Simone is still doing good work as well in fifth place Tor uh, Rosso seventh position you look Gurrieri we saw making light contact with the wall but now Afcona tries to launch the tank Rob Hull's been outfoxed Runs deep, does Huff, has to go all the way off the racetrack, that opens the door for Mikel Afkoni, can he get back on desperately, tries to get back on side by side with Marcin Guar, Mar now in the Lincoln Coke, Casa Grande to the side of the circuit, but let's look at the fight at the front of the field, Huff makes the mistake, drops to the bottom step of the podium, allows Mikulis to move up into second position, Ma trying to find a way past now, throws the car to the inside, not enough racing room, on the lock stops for the hairpin, concentrate on corner exit, Rob Huff made an uncharacteristic mistake, that's allowed Athcona into the race lead and Rob Huff is defending for everything he is worth now. Can he find a way past Norman Mikulis? Doesn't have the speed, the Hungarian driver in this race, but he does have track position and Rob Huff, while he fights at the front of the field, it is Mikel Athcona that will take the chequered flag and win the Kumo TCR World Tour here in Argentina from teammate Norman Mikulis and Rob Huff rounding out the podium places in what has been a brilliant race on the streets of Argentina. And a very delighted looking Mikel Afcona. Yes, he says to the team and crowd. First victory of the year for Afcona. Very much needed. He's been showing increasingly good form as the uh, weekend progresses. And then our race winner, Mikel Alcona, with the biggest trophy of all, for victory.